Yeah, breast surgery is very interesting because uh, you know many women come in with different types of breast problems, including precancerous change, nipple discharge, all the way up to the more advanced cancers. A typical situation is when a woman feels a lump or goes for a routine mammogram and she'll often see her gynecologist, get the prescription for the mammogram, and then go for imaging. And that includes mammogram, sometimes ultrasound, and if an abnormality is seen, almost always a needle biopsy is performed prior to surgery. So one of the most typical times I see someone is after needle biopsy when the cancer's already been diagnosed. And then we're able to have a long comprehensive discussion about the results of the needle biopsy and how to treat the cancer. On the other hand, some women come in with an indeterminate problem like a nipple discharge or an abnormal imaging finding that can't be reached for needle biopsy. So we discuss various options to, uh, to treat that problem and hopefully rule out cancer. But generally speaking, the, the, if someone gets to the point of needing an operation, you'd like that operation to be a single comprehensive surgery to address the problem, not a procedure to diagnose cancer, and then another one to treat the cancer. So the radiologists are involved very early on, and patients often come to a surgeon with some element of diagnosis already. I think the initial visit with the patient and the family describing what is involved in diagnosing their cancer, treating their cancer, and explaining the steps to take care of it is an extremely important visit. And I usually that visit takes me, oh, an hour, hour and 15 minutes. And I really try to, when I speak to a patient and family, I try to pretend like there's absolutely nothing else going on in the world or in my life at the time. And I, I explain, I usually take notes for that patient. I explain pathology, what treatment options they have, because in the breast field, there's often more than one, one way to tackle a problem. And there's also several doctors involved in the care of that patient. It's not just a surgical procedure. It's often followed by a medical oncology consultation as well as radiation therapy consultation. So take quite a bit of time at that visit. I answer lots of questions and I try to make sure that the treatment is tailored to that specific patient based on their medical issues, on their age, on their living situation. So most of the time, even though I haven't really done anything, that woman feels a lot better leaving my office than when she came in because they often say well I feel better now because I understand the features of the cancer I have a bit of a game plan and I feel a bit stronger going forward with that knowledge and information